Marie, coming to you from sweltering hot Arizona. Today, I am going to talk to you about backgrounds. about requirements. What do we need on our background? Hmm. First, we need our Bling logo nice and colorful. Two, we need to have our name. Three, we have to have a welcome sign. Also, we need a bright light to make sure our face and our background is nicely seen. I think I have more than 10 backdrops. You can have different things on your backdrop like <gasps> colors, lots of colors, flashcards, national flags, letters, animals, and even numbers. Some people like to have maps on their backgrounds as well. So why is it important to me to have lots of backgrounds? Well, it makes it really exciting. <laughs> it also creates uh, a nice classroom environment, great conversation starters, and also it adds new vocabulary um, when I introduce a new background, I have a world map and it shows different places around the world and my students ask, have you been there? Can you tell me about that place? So for me, it's really fun to think of different backgrounds. Um, lastly, <laughs> I get bored very easily and so if I do not want to look at the same background, why would my students that I've had for a year want to look at the same ones too? Hmm. I wonder how my husband's last the last 20 years. Anyway, so you can do a background, whether it's a backdrop. I get these off of Amazon. They are a five by three photography backdrop. Or you can do something simple as cards or pictures or a map. But three most important things that you need to have on your background is your name our beautiful bling logo and welcome all right thank you bye, -bye.